Welcome back to the Saratoga Slim backside vlog and I'm back from Ireland and I'm here at my favorite place, the Oklahoma train and track and over there is Steve Asmussen's barn. and I'm going to be talking to him about all his big horses, Epicenter, Jackie's Warrior, Echo Zulu and more on the backside vlog. So I always interview Steve Asmussen and he always gives us really good information so this is going to be awesome. I just interview Hall of Famers, I travel the world, I do what I gotta do. So up next, Steve Asmussen, Saratoga, Backside Vlog, boom. Next time at the racetrack, don't bet on a whim. Make sure you take advice from your main man, Slim. Saratoga, Slim. Steve Asmussen, the most winningest trainer in North American, Horse race in history, and he has one of my favorite horses. Jackie's Warrior has been a Saratoga legend. Four for four, Saratoga special, hopeful. Amsterdam, and Jerkins win. Can he do it? How do you get him ready to well, sweep the six races here if he could win the Vanderbilt and forego? We're very fortunate on two fronts there. You know, Jackie's Warrior is a, a special talent, and he has an affinity for Saratoga, so they gone hand in hand. Um, we plan on running him twice this summer as well and hopefully with uh, similar results to his last two years. Let's talk about the other champion in the Steve Asmussen barn, Echo Zulu. What happened before the acorn? Can we talk about that first? Joel didn't think she warmed up as herself. Um, we gave her a break, uh, a checkup with Dr. Bramlage uh, following that. He gave her a clean bill of health a couple of weeks ago and we've resumed training with her and she's doing very well here. Good to hear, you know, probably the test is too quick for her to come back because um, I, I saw a quote from the, do you think the last Friday to meet the grade two priorist is a possibility? Well, just uh, right now, we're enjoying having her back in the barn. Um, started back with her training lightly. Um, it'll, uh, we will increase what we do with her, you know, on a weekly basis. And if, when she's ready to run, we will enter. Okay, well, the horse we know we got running soon is Epicenter, second in the Kentucky Derby, second in the Preakness. He has to go up against two of the horses that he had to hold off or try to catch in the stretch coming up here in the Jim Dandy with early voting and Zandon. What do you think is Epicenter's best running style? With Epicenter, very pleased uh, with how he's training going into the Jim Dandy, but the Travers is the major goal for him here this summer. And uh, we plan on using the Jim Dandy as a, as a stepping stone towards it. As far as I expect uh, there to be no four to six head, in this year's Jim Dandy, I wouldn't be see a lot of volunteers to run against, you know, County Port as well, and yes. Dan Dan, and uh, early voting in Epicenter. It'd be a pretty deep water to be jumping off into. I mean, four exceptional three-year-olds, but I think all four of them are in the same boat. They're uh, looking, they're here for the Travers and feel that this is the right prep for them. With that being said, I, I think we need to uh, Epicenter little break since the Preakness. You know, he obviously was um, a little flat two weeks off of the Derby on his hard run in the Derby, but uh, we're looking to get him back in the winner's circle. And I think that that's, uh, you know, uh, his, indi his work on Monday morning was everything we'd hoped to see. You know, he looked like epicenter and fast. And so we're uh, obviously very excited about getting him back to the races. Great, you know, epicenter. <laughs> Also, a bad break at that Preakness, you know. Got bumped from the break, you know. I think we'll see what happens if I can see him in early voting. Going at it early, it's going to be a real exciting race. I think everyone's looking forward to it. The next day, the Amsterdam also looks like a stacked race. And you got Gunite coming right. third off the layoff off of the inaugural Maxfield win. Gunite, uh, why did he miss earlier in the year? And how is he coming third off the layoff into this Amsterdam? And it just looks like a war coming up uh, soon. Gunite had a lot of running as a two-year-old. You know, he came to, was second Saratoga special, came back and won the hopeful champagne just a little over the top at that stage. I think it was very obvious that he's a better one-turn horse. Um, skipped the derby preps and the illusion of going two turns with him to be in the position he is right now. You know, he had a, a, a solid second in his first race back this year. 
followed that up with a win in the max field and obviously the lucrative one turn three year old races here at Saratoga where he's had success in the past is we're in, we're in a good shape in good shape with a good horse. Uh, last horse I want to ask you about is Gulfport. Gulfport, oh, Bashford Manor win. I think the second fastest is 120 years. How excited are you to run this horse in the Saratoga Special? Extremely. You know, he is uh, Gulfport's very special horse. You know, for the maturity he shows, the class he shows as a two-year-old. He's just, you know, we're extremely fortunate to have him. Um, came out of the Bashford Manor in great shape, and we are following the you know jackie plan jackie the uh, hoping for the uh -huh. special and the hopeful with wow. him and feel that he is a talented and a well-suited horse for those races so there you have it live from the steve asmussen barn one of the greatest trainers of all time the hall of famer and he always likes to sit down or talk to slim about all his horses so i appreciate over the years i've interviewed him about gun runner you know, it's just uh, it's just awesome to be back here seeing these great horses. Midnight Pursue over the years, and he's always really cool. He told us all about Jackie's Warrior and Epicenter. You know, we went on he went on and on about Epicenter, so we learned a lot about Epicenter coming into this gym, Dandy. So I'm just hoping that you know some of the things he's telling us during this interview about Gulfport and Gun I'd help you cash a bet because you know steve has a big time barn he could win a lot of these stakes so best of luck to the steve asmussen barn and for the saratoga slim backside vlog peace next time at the racetrack don't bet on a whim make sure you take advice from your main man slim saratoga slim